No. Okay, we're gonna go back to that antique barn. There's some things I was looking at. I take pictures of all the cool stuff. It's sort of like, instead of buying cool stuff, I'm capturing it, I'm getting it with pictures. And so, um, looking at those pictures since I was last there, it's been making me like want stuff. It's been two weeks and I didn't go last week, the in-laws were over. So, and I'm excited to go back today. What I'm going to get, did you move her dog door? What I'm going to get is Gillette Slim, $28. There's two of them. So I get to kind of compare and take the best of the two. I was told that Gillette Slim is uh, it's cheaper than the Fat Boy. It's kind of like people are all going for that Fat Boy, the name of it. And uh, this is not that one. So this is like its little sister. But you know what? I've heard it's actually better. It's smaller. It's newer, it's, uh, it's made more recently, and um, it's cheaper. So who doesn't want cheaper? I actually saw one from Illinois. It's a pickup only. It's active right now on Facebook Marketplace. In the case, it looks really nice for 30. So it's two bucks more, I would've got the case, but it's a pickup only, they want cash. So I'm gonna get the Gillette Slim. I'm going to get the Old Spice ship if it's there. That one was locked in a case. I'm going to take you through to the different places. This place is awesome, by the way. The, what really makes it awesome is they have a lot of stuff that they, I think, constantly renew from like estate sales, maybe just wh wherever they can get it. And uh, the best part is, is it's not gouging in prices. It's actually pretty good prices you could actually if you had a store these prices are good enough where you could probably buy the item and still sell it and make a profit and actually as far as that ship goes i was thinking that i would i could probably keep it and live with it for a year and if i wanted to sell it later this is a nice thought to have because you're not stuck with it if i i can use it enjoy it and if I want to sell it later, I can probably even turn a profit. Even on that Gillette Slim, I might be able to turn like a $5 profit. I'm going to keep that one though. Unless I get something better. If I get a better Slim, I would trade up. So Okay, so there's the Slim, the Old Spice. There's a Circle Razor that I love. It says it's mint. Uh, it looks mint and clean in the box with its papers. That's kind of funny, it reminds me of like dogs. It's got its papers. And I think I'm gonna pick up a lock with my kid. He's here. I'm gonna make it, save it for his birthday. That is 296 days away. He just had it in January. He's gonna get to see the lock, but it's then gonna get hidden. He'll forget about it. He probably actually won't forget about it, but he won't be able to see it. He'll probably forget what it looks like. It just is cool. If you, kind of, if you see cool stuff like that, it doesn't sit around. It's like a one of one. You gotta get it. There was a brush handle I thought was pretty cool. Maybe I'll walk you over to it. And then there was one other thing, trying to remember everything. There was three things, four things I wanted to get. Oh, a bowl. And it looks like it might be a good mixing bowl because it's got the little swirl in the bottom. And it's actually a really cool swirl. It's very deep and very symmetrical. And then it doesn't swirl. I like that. I like how it's got swirl in the middle. That's where you'd put all the soap. The outside is not. It's got a name. I was looking over my photos and that's actually a potter here in Michigan that uh, his work has completely changed on his website. If you go to his website, it's all different now. It's all blues and stuff. Bargain basement price. Like half of the price, maybe a third of the price he would originally sold it for, maybe half of the price. Um, usually pottery stuff, I don't know, there's a, if you have a name, if you have a good name, it's gonna go up in value, but if it's just like coffee mug, coffee mug, coffee mug, uh, generic coffee mug, it might not go up. If it's an original looking, uh, it could go up. I mean, I might have a mixing bowl that's worth a hundred dollars prospectively, and I'm gonna be paying 12. And then we're gonna grab some McDonald's. So uh, come along with us. Right, Carter? Yeah. <laughs> Back. 
And here's my barber shop. When I moved out here, I wanted a man's barber. And so that's what I got. It's a real small town, which I like. I mean, like, it's one block, maybe two blocks, two blocks. Got those old charming lights that are just charming. Cool drive in between two cities, just nothing really. Vacancy. There it is, that giant red and green place. Usually, it's really full for some reason. Now we get a free spot because that guy left. Dang it, this is when I feel sad. I think the old Navy, the, I think the old spice ship was right there. I'm not sure. I think it definitely was in this one of two spots. Dang it. <clears throat> okay, that's how you know you really want something when you can't have it and then you get all kind of upset, right? And uh, there's Mirsham. There it is. There it is. Wow, it looks so good too. So the one that's on sale on eBay right now has all cracked front. Yeah. I need, think I need it. To me, this is super exciting. These old packs and they still, the, the covers are really exciting. Like this type of stuff is what I had in the 80s. It's like a waxy packaging. That excites me. And the prices are like three bucks. Just gum inside. So then you have this one that's cool. Just all the cool stuff like that. That's the kind of stuff my dad would love. Um, I like that, the brushes. You got all the old packaging and then you got some shaving stuff all packed around down here kind of hard to see what's all going on again i really like when there's so much stuff that it overwhelms you to look at it all whoa that wasn't here last time i like that's one of my favorite shapes i think 26 dollars though is too much you can get those for like 15 but I like it. I don't think I've ever seen one in person. And then uh, I was holding this one up last time and I'm wondering how unique it is. Though I don't want cracked, I want cracked stuff, but pretty, pretty unique. Rubber made right. Feels good. I'm thinking the way to go though in the future is small handled. Small handled, what's this? Really crazed and cracked. So much stuff here. This, this is like new stuff. I don't like this stuff, but. I do like all of this stuff. Like this guy's got good taste. If you got good taste, then you're gonna know what to pick up and put in your area. Uh, and 
another one that has some good taste. That's pretty cool, that little barber shop. Just to sit on your counter. And then he had like a hat rack that was cool. It's all individual sellers have these different booths. But, yeah, look at that, that's cool. A thousand bucks, holy crud. My kid was checking this one out. He's got the adult only board. Sometimes you have to lift up cards to see for adults only. Look at here, London fog. It's just so little. This is a definitely a cool one. Bottle stoppers are definitely my thing. Old razor, old pipe. Oh, this isn't the one I was thinking. This one's definitely a guy owned area. So. Eh, nothing I really like, but oh yeah, this one I like. All cool stuff in here. These have gotten like really pricey. That's new age tiki and that's old age tiki. They want, how much do they want for that? A hundred? Jeez. Super cool. Full of stuff. Tiki mug. Oh, yeah. I want to show them something. So much cool stuff. You can put a sponge in there. That's that's gross. Like this? <laughs> yep. There you go. Real lightsaber. So I really like pottery, and you know, the X's is like alcohol. But this is interesting. Looks like they all connect and they go down. You can like drink from here, pull it down the handle. I'm imagining there's a hole down there. And I think I see one. Wow, that's cool. Very cool. Got my Chemex from here years ago. Forty-five. Wow. So much stuff. Yeah, no kidding. You can't see it all either. Uh -uh. And then just this one. So much stuff packed in. Yeah, look. shelves are gonna give away. Yeah. <laughs> I got. I paid ten for mine. On one of those. I thought that was interesting. It's a mirror. So there's something in here we want. Where I think, yeah, I think it's in this one. Oh my goodness, black. You see it? Oh, here, right. Look at, is that a little black? I guess it maybe needs to be updated. Yeah, I know. What, what did you want to see, sir? Um, so there... What are you looking at? A couple things in here. I thought that pocket knife would be kind of cool to open up. I wanted to see what the price of that, those were. Swizzle sticks. And that's about it. So this came out of this case that's open. And there's no price on it. It's cool that it's in its box, except for the price that it sold in the store. I'm guessing that's its price. I don't think it's full. It'd probably be worth getting though, just to, I don't have old spice in my house, it's all my parents. 
That might be fun to have. So this is a favorite booth. They always had like 80s toys, which is cool. Like definitely guy toys. And it's like, so you gotta walk into it to look. And then of course, for me, that's a big deal. The gray skull. That is like, to me, that is so cool. And that was my time. Just some cool stuff. Got some good glow to this area. So, I wasn't planning on this, but I know what this is, and I want it. It's because it's so cool. And that's like so clean looking. Hold your brushes in style. We had no clue where this bowl was, but then we knew it was this rug, and it turns out it's right there. I would have never, you know, it's un unmarkable from this side. I like how it's got that though. But I think this is the size, like I'm a big dude, but I think this is the size that I want. This is perfect. Look at that price. Like not gougy at all. Love the uh, crystal, it's smooth. It's perfect. Few bowls have um, agitation in the side. All like cool garage guy stuff. Just tons of buried things. It's got a hat down there. And uh, cool stuff in there. That's where the two razors are. Right there. Slims. Back at this one again. And this caught my eye. That looks really cool. It's in the. Um, Old Spice mug. I like the Kool-Aid. Thing, it's cool when it's old and it's still around is when it's really cool. But like, look at that, monsters. I wonder how much. Cool. He's um, like bumped out. 140. It's very cool. That's not that much money for a little little bit of cool artwork. $7, because they're more money than that new. That's kind of worn though. But Lone Ranger. It's like we're... So I just turned my back, went that way, just happened to go back this way, and I've been wanting one of these. But, I don't know. Super cool. Weird how it's all like cracked up in there. That's super cool. Yeah, look at this knife. 20. I wish it said something. I don't know, that handle is so cool though. I just don't like that. Looking up there and seeing junkiness. Oh, that's cool. And. There's a fork. Really cool. 50 bucks. Pitch fork. The horse on it. Oh my god! Score! This one's got a hammered bottom. Mine's in better shape. I'm paying like 20 and this one is 90. Yay, we got oh the bed one. Police officers would use that to hit you with. Yeah, this one's just if you do full. What? If you do what? If you try to run from them. Full of stuff. Why? Why not? Long time ago. They don't do it anymore. Here, let me look in here real quick. What do they do now? I think I would want that one later on. It's just in such good shape. And it's weird. And it's in its box. It's 35. And then also that one's pretty cool. But it's a lot more money. And then, oh. They call that one a fat boy back there. It's like a fat boy box, just with slayer tips. And then it's cool they have these. 
pick up one of those. This is a Michigan beard oil company. So that's cool. We're in a veteran store. Look at that. It's crazy. Yeah, so kind of purpose-driven. Uh,